This is your weekend market review for Friday, February 24th, 2023. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your weekend market review for, wow, February 24th, 2023, Friday. Friday, remember that markets don't typically bottom on Fridays. However, let's get into it. There's a lot to talk about. I think a lot of people are getting misconstrued with what's going on and just need to take some time to reflect, look at the markets, zoom out, do a little thought processing of how things have turned out and where they're at because I am seeing a lot of folks just losing their cookies. And what I would say, just, I don't, I don't know, trying to impress upon themselves intraday action and not realizing that the market is meant to take the most amount of money for the most amount of people. And at this point in the cycle, as we always say, the, the, the part from where bulls get flipped to bears, that's when you get closer to the end. And now we're in this like point where I think the market's at levels where bulls are confused and they still keep trying to buy dips, which as a bear, it's the best thing possible. It just shows you that we're not done, anywhere done. And I mean, at this point, the Fed pivot, it's not happening. Interest rates are going higher slowly as they have to, or I mean, quickly, slowly, whatever, it doesn't matter. Dollars rising. The evidence is everywhere. Again, people are entitled with their own opinions, but when people try to troll and talk and they try to impress upon me their evidence, the evidence is in the charts. So I will always go back to this. Do not waste your time trying to convince me or others of your opinion without evidence. Now I know, I know people have their evidence in intraday charts and they have all this little stuff, but I'm telling you, when in doubt, zoom out. I wish everybody luck, but I'm just, it, it's very concerning because I don't think people understand like how you call the top in gold and then short dust. How do you identify a swing trade? Now again, if it chops a little bit because of window dressing, end of the month, not surprised. But again, if you've been shorting highs, you're doing well. And again, if you bought the dips before when we talked about in December, I mean, again, we've we've identified the evidence. It's just the timing of how things play out. Does it happen that day or does it happen that week or does it happen immediately? That's always the big question. And I'm just laughing at people who are staring intraday charts and not seeing the bigger picture because it's obvious. It's just, again, nobody has the ability to step out of time and see the market for what it is. So again, continue. I love all the trolling, all the negative feedback, people getting frustrated, people attacking. Because again, it just, you, when it's at the lows, I know we'll be close because I won't hear anything from you folks. And you folks who just want to play the game from, you know, hey, I watch Fox Business, CNBC, I'm on FinTwit, I'm on CN, you know, stock twits, and I'm, you, you know, you're listening to folks talk. It's like letting your old grandmother learn how to code. It's like asking your drunk uncle or cousin to, to designate a drive. It's like letting your kids, ha you know, your six-year-old have the keys of the car. Again, you follow the wrong people. You let the noise into your head that you shouldn't. Well, don't be surprised when you're confused and you can't see the bigger picture. That's all I can really say. Again, I apologize if this hurts people's feelings, but that's not the goal here. It's to be honest. And if you can't see it, then you can't see it. If you want to join the Discord room, a link is in the description below. I appreciate everybody. You know, again, it's this isn't easy. Remember, at the lows, when we're going to be saying it's time to buy and everybody's going nuts, like giving up on the rest and the world's going to end, just remember that it's no different at the highs. Like everyone's still bullish. Everybody's still yelling AI. Everyone's still yelling Fed pivots coming. All of that is wrong. The evidence today, the PCE, CPI, PPI, it's all confirming inflation's going higher, interest rates are going higher. Anyway. If you want, check me out on Twitter. Feel free to leave a comment, troll, say something really stupid. I, again, it makes me laugh. These people who feel like they need to tell me I'm wrong, great. That's fine. I, I really don't follow your trades and I'm not going to show up on your <laughs> pages. I just don't care. Again, worry about yourself, ultimately. That's the goal here. And I say this all the time and I mean it very in a nice way. You control your emotions. You control enter and exit. Don't worry about what other people think. You know, I appreciate the feedback because again, I, it helps me confirm the market sentiment. But again, I'm I'm just one person. Uh, back to basics. If you're new to trading, trying to get into trading, learning, I'm telling you tons of information here. 
And I still still think there's a lot of old guys that could use this kind of stuff because I don't know. People get bad habits. I had bad habits, especially old guys and gals who've been trading for a long time. You know, if, if trading's still hard, then maybe it's because you're over-trading and maybe you aren't learning, continuing to evolve. Like, that's the game. Continue to learn, continue to trade, continue to evolve. Bitcoin, as we talked about literally yesterday, let's recap on Thursday, I would be taking profits. Now it's backing off. Will it form a head and shoulders top or is this a bear, a bull trap? Again, it's kind of like gold, kind of like all this stuff. The market's about to do what it's going to do. And I don't think this stuff is going to hold up. But though I want to short Bitcoin, there's probably better trades out there, as we've talked about in tech and financials and maybe solar stuff and some certain other materials names and some of the stuff we recommended. At this point, I don't think I'm going to short this. I hope it holds up for friends who own it. But again, I'd leave it alone. Oil. More oil just chops around here. The more the Fed's just kind of losing control. I don't know, ultimately, if we're going to tank. I'd love to see in the 60s. But if oil pops, all of a sudden the Fed pivot goes further and further out. And higher oil prices and inflation and ingraining, stagflation, that is not good. That is not going to be good. That's going to mean a very volatile market for the next for coming future. Natural gas. Hey, look at that. It bottomed. Okay. Well, just keep in mind. Watch what happens when it gets up here to this trend line. We've talked about it like, hey, it, it just makes my eyes bleed having to talk about it. But here's the thing. Choppy, sloppy action. Now, again, if your best trade is going long natural gas in this market, well, then please watch the recap because I think you'll find some other trades that are easier. And just be aware, this could... <laughs> the V bottoms. It's very volatile, natural gas. Is it V bottom? No. It'd be top, retest, retest, right? Head and shoulders top. This was a V bottom. This was a V bottom, but you did have some references from the past. But... We'll see. I mean, good luck. Again, I, I wish no ill malice on anybody, but if you tell me your best trade is natural gas, don't be surprised when I laugh because I'm like, wow, I, if you go through all the charts and you've seen everything in the market and you go, natural gas is the best trade, yikes, the dollar. Is this a novice gap or just another continuation gap on the train to higher prices? <laughs> it looks like it's going higher. Again, dollar, not good for the market. People are like, Oh, what do you think? And it's like, well, I mean, I guess the 29 area is a very big range. We're not even, you know, we're not even there yet. We're close enough. Maybe some people might argue. I would say probably not. It just feels like all the things lining up for the market to go lower. TLT, again, there is a huge short interest. But here you go. Here you go. Just chopping here. We'll see, again, higher rates since February 2nd. Remember that date, it should ring in your mind. Higher interest rates, again, I don't think the market's gonna like it. <laughs> well, I know the market's not gonna like it, because again, it's signal of, you know, again, the, the yield curve is more inverted. The feds need to play catch up. And everybody was banking on what? Oh, the feds were gonna pivot, no. The VIX, love it, play the game. It's the 100th day, a little choppy choppy, we talked about it, pop back up, okay. Does it need to come back down a little bit? Again, near term, I, I don't care. If you have good short entry, it's no different than buying at the low and sitting tight. Think a little more sitting on your hands, being patient. At this point, we'll see what happens here. But you are building a higher base, potentially. Keep that in mind. When you zoom out, right, and you think about markets, right, this base, right, probably leads to a spike at some point. And I've said this, and I'll say it over and over. The market's not bottoming and the VIX peaking in a legitimate bear market with the VIX in the 30s. No, zoom out, study the past. No, you need at least a 47, 48, maybe 50 handle, even to think about it. And that's just to think about a bottom. We haven't hit that. So anyway, SPY, let's, gosh, let me, where do I start? Okay, yes, back test, 10 line. I, everybody's getting bullish down here. I get it, I get it. But then I zoom out and I go, all right, let's take a look at the monthly. Oh, yikes, look above and fail. Look above a fail, maybe, no, more than likely, right? Oh, what about the weekly, Dan? Let's check that out, right? It's the same kind of pattern. And now you actually start to see the volume at price zone really stick out here. Zinger, you got up there for three weeks and you couldn't do crap. Now, I know this is a gap on the weekly, but gaps on the weeklies might be ugly for the market. Now, people say, was well, it the bottom? I don't know, see them at the top. Again, I personally think, again, if you zoom out, 
for five minutes and tell me you think the bear market is over and you look at the monthly we go from 69 whatever 60 no it's actually 666 right to 480 you're barely under 400 you think the bear market's over okay all right well again i can't tell you what i can't i mean again trying to be evidence-based but you know people are gonna argue they're gonna go crazy <sighs> whatever it's all good again i i just you know i try to try not to internalize all of everybody else's pain but it's just so obvious get up into the zone auto zone no and you bounce here we talked about the bounce could have played for the week and then look at this gap down but it's a doji dan but it's a gap down oh but it's at the 200 day we got to buy this dip okay how many times have we talked about the market loves to close at prices that confuse people, right? Remember this closing? Oh, look, it hold the 20-day. Oh, excuse me, that was kind of loud. Sorry. No, no good. I don't know. Your guess is good as mine. I mean, ultimately, I think it's going back down to the range. Lowest well, minimum. This is a bear market, a.k.a. trader's market. Zoom out. Look where we failed. Everyone's calling head and shoulders bottom. Is this the left shoulder? There's the right shoulder. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I mean, you can see it better on the monthly. I just don't need to bounce around. That's your job to look at that stuff. The IWM, what do we talk about? Lagging, right? Lagging, lagging, lagging. Makes a slightly lower high than August. Lagging. This doesn't look good. Breaks the 20-day. What planet are people on? Like, when you start breaking the 20-day that's been, like, the primary uptrend and has history... What does it do? It goes lower. The trend is lower. The Dia. Talked about it. Diverging. Made slightly higher. It couldn't even get over the December highs. Look at this. Okay, it's back into support. Well, does it bounce? Yeah, look for shorts if it does. It's really that simple. I don't get it. I'm not trying to be mean here, but it just seems very obvious. You failed upper zone. You're coming back down. Will it get there in a straight line? Is that going to confuse you when it doesn't? Gold. God, I love dust and gold. We talked about this trapping up here. And when was the top, right? When did it fail? February 2nd. Gold leading down? Well, it's not leading up, that's for sure. And it's showing no signs of like really going higher now again. It's back testing some way old trend lines. That black one is very thick and old. Um, can it hold here? I mean, it's at the 20 month. Maybe. Maybe, but do you really want to go long gold? I don't think so. Silver. Never ends. When, what do you think of silver? Let it come. Let it come down. Stuff that isn't bullish. Like, silver should be like... I, mean, it's, I don't know why I'm talking like like, but it should be rallying. Eh, wrong. Again, GDX. Told you to keep short in the, the miners. Well, don't you think the miners would be acting better if the market was strong? No. You're welcome. And again, I mean, raise your stops, trade around your core, whatever you need to do, but... Let your winners run, ultimately. It's like shorting. Let your winners run. GDXJ, back at support here. Does it bounce? You would hope so if you're a bull, but man, this thing is just ugly. Ugly. Again, I have my core left shorting. I really wish I would have held more, but, you know, can't cry or spill milk. There really hasn't been any pops to short. <laughs> just, that's what happens sometimes. AG, holy crap. Yikes. Now that could be capitulatory. But man, the monthly trend line is not even down till five. Oh, that's ugly. AEM. Just dead chopping around. I mean, I don't know. Again, we could spend hours here on this stuff and try to really dig in them. Like, it's just, I don't think it's time. Newmont. Now, again, when I think time to like buy for long, again, it could bounce. These things are technically, I mean, imagine someone's RSI is going, it's oversold, it's oversold. Well, yeah. And so it's due to bounce, but that RSI just follows price. Pass. There you go. I mean, back at range lows. All this stuff. Absolutely the abominable snowman. Just, ugh, bleh. AMD. We talked about it. Little bounce with the NVIDIA earnings. Congrats if you shorted the 20-day now today. Chopping around. Well, good luck. I mean, as we've talked about, this thing loves to do, like, blow-off tops. Here's your novice gap trap. Right? Big green candles at the highs. Oh, yeah. So strong. And it fails. Remember, think about it. The market's meant to take the most money from the most amount of people. What do you think it's doing here? Generously, like, you're donating if you're long this stuff, in my opinion. But, I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm just throwing it out there. It looks like you guys are donating when I say you guys in general, like the market participants. 
Taiwan Semi, you know, Buffett ends that dream. Nice little bounce. Bah, if that trend breaks. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Uh, NVIDIA. Man, this is like the short of the century with the tight stops. This is so easy. A chop top novice gap. Look at that gap. That's not the gap to go. That's the gap to fail. Just like you get gaps at the bottoms and at the highs. I'm trying to see if there's any for NVIDIA. We talk about a lot with gold and certain other trades. Here's the pro gap off the bottom. Yeah, here you go. Here was the pro gap, chop, and then flop. Again, give yourself time. I don't want to... Here's one. Oh, Jesus, right there. Zing. Give yourself time. But I'm telling you, I think this is the easiest short in the market right now. If anyone asks me, like, what's your favorite trade? Well, obviously, my favorite trade is getting into other trades at the highs that are already down that we're winning on, a.k.a. every single trade we've entered. If you know, you know. And now NVIDIA is showing up like, ooh, this is just a gift from the gods. People are going, oh, maybe it goes to 250 or maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm telling you, trade what you see here. Make a lower low, lower high, whatever. Just If it gets back into this 230 range, and again, maybe the pin action. I don't know if you guys saw, but holy crap, there is a ton of 230 puts today that expired. 140,000 puts of the open interest that was like, you know, of today's expiration. I'm pretty sure between the puts and the calls. That alone was probably a quarter, just that straight one was a quarter of all options that were traded today. Yikes. Well, maybe that was, they're trying to keep it over that. We'll see what they, see what happens. SMH, speaking of, right? If you shorted this up here, you had multiple chances. Pop, talk about the 20 day, said 241 plus whatever. Don't bring a knife. Or, sorry, bring a knife to a gunfight. No, don't bring a ruler. Oh, look at this. Okay, gaps down. Oh, it looks, it's holding up. Okay, I, <laughs> It's just a matter of time, probably. And again, look at the evidence. Here you go. Here, Adobe. Eh. Another strong stock in this market. Go bullish, you folks that are just trolling. I'm just telling you right now, you guys are ignoring the evidence and you're looking at one stock or you got tunnel vision. Be careful, please. I don't want you to lose. Apple, we talked about this was the day. Go watch their recaps. Said this was the liquidation day. Kind of looks like NVIDIA, doesn't it? in the sense of high volume at the highs. Well, it's chopped and then it's gone. And now it's below the 200 day and now it's trying to fill the gap, but it's bullish. Okay. Okay, like Apple does the same crap too at the highs. It, it tries to look real bullish and get people so excited and then it beats the crap out of them. But you know what? If you have to, if you're, you haven't been beaten the crap out of by the market and you have this confidence about you and you're not evidence-based, then guess what? You're gonna get your ass kicked. Amazon, oh, everyone's keeps saying it's time to buy it. Well, again, more evidence of weakness. CRM, 200 day, okay, cool. We talked about them getting institutional investment. It's like, well, I guess those guys were selling calls, not that excited after it rose from 120, whatever, 526 up to 180. Guggenheim, every day, Hindenburg, Heidenberg, whatever his stupid name is on FinTwit. That guy doesn't, I mean, again, he's got 50,000 followers and he literally doesn't know how to trade, but guess what? 50,000 followers, 50,000 followers. Good for him. Keeps talking about buying Google. It's the right trade because he bought dips on other names previously. Well, in a tech, you know, in the tech war, who wins? <laughs> Commodities, not tech. And look at Google. That is just ugly. Meta, I think it was pinned to 170 today. Again, if you short it up here, congrats. And you short it on the pops, congrats. Breaking below 20 day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. We'll see what happens. Microsoft. Wow, look at that awesome candle today right another little gap and down and little indecision again these days drawing all the bulls i again look at these charts you get like these dojis and these chop action and it just you know it does the same thing when it's going up now you're going down and it's like oh every day i gotta buy the dip and it's like a little lower a little lower a little lower and the aq we said this a thousand times the nasdaq is showing you why liquidity in the nasdaq will dry up and tech is crap this thing is just Living on a prayer. Micro strategy. If you short it up in the 300 plus, now you're under the 20 day. Uh oh, again, stuff that isn't bullet. Netflix. I've been trying to get a short, add my shorts. I took some off. Look at this thing. If you short it up in the 360s plus at the trend line, okay, we'll see what happens here. I mean, it's probably due to bounce. I mean, took some profits earlier in the week. But this is what happens if it, the market's bearish. It just keeps going lower. But no, Dan, I gotta buy the dip. Okay, you buy the dip, bud. I'm just telling you. 
that's not the trade. It's to look for the short, but whatever. You know, you just say what you say. Roblox, you know, said, hey, don't short this because I think it's a buyout target, but if the market drops, it does what? Come on back. Tesla, if you shorted this thing last week, this week, it's talked about the game over candle. Right there, big volume, long wick. Oh, holding the 20 day. All right, well, if you see 209, 206 plus, whatever, short it with tight stops. It's that easy. Tight stops, risk management. I don't want to hear someone go, if, if something ever, and again, because you don't know the future with that with certainty, but you're evidence-based. But this is why we say, you, you might probably only win 80% of the time, 90, 85% of the time. But that's evidence-based trading, not emotional-based, which, again, it's pretty good. But just remember, the 15% time you're wrong, that's when it hurts. New core. Short this, Dan, short this. Okay, I mean, again, I, materials don't don't really make sense to short because I think if you know Ukraine stuff heats up, that only adds more inflation to materials. But if the market melts, this is snowy. This is feeling a bit like snow. It'll melt too, buttery. Uh, X, 20-day, okay. Looking like, you know, what do you want to call it? Looking like what? In my opinion? I don't know doesn't look like I'd want to short this, but if it breaks the 50-day, look out below, right? Caterpillar. Now, this is one where we are short, but still haven't got any bounces to short. If you shorted this thing, remember we talked about buying puts for, buying a put for earnings. Thought this has had run up too much, and now in the 20-day and the chop around, well, again, market's so bullish. Oh, but the candle's green, Dan. The candle's green. Yeah, but I see a lower, low, and lower high. I wouldn't confirm anything yet. Ballet. Talked about. These names just don't look right. But again, if you want to short them, go right ahead. I just think tech is easier. Arrow. Copper. Oh, how's that holding up? Meh. Lower highs. Again, why? I, 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 I'm like this far in the video, and I'm, I just want to stop and be like, if you're bullish, turn the turn it off. Just turn it off. Now I mean bullish if, again, if you want to play a little up move and then short it, fine. Like we did earlier in the week, literally bought. Did we not buy Soxel as a hedge for Soxis to anticipate Nvidia earnings? Yeah, we did. Congratulations if you did trade that because there are some hundred plus percent option trades that were bangers. But now what? I mean, look at copper, CCJ, right? Oh, hey, everybody's so excited about it in the 2829s. Bah. Fail. CF. Now, again, I like these ag names, but I just don't trust them, right? Like, do you want to get caught in the chop? I have gaps down below. You guys know. Play. Again, these names, I like ag. I like ag a lot. You, you, we got to eat. Uh, Mosaic had decent earnings reaction. <sighs> Today's action. Uh, we'll see. NTR, you know, hit the 200 day and it's been just dead money. Look at that long wick. AA Aaron. Alcoa. Hey, everything's so good. Boeing's great. Uh, Look at Boeing, grounded 787 Dreamliners. Again, that company, do not trust it. Do not trust it. Don't trust it. Here you go. Just looking like a clap. XLF, man, if you added shorts today, I like it. Here's like, oh, it's holding the 20-day. Oh, yeah, this is always a little choppier. Just keep that in mind. It's always just a little choppier. The straight line move will be when we confirm, which is fine. And probably gonna have to use what a range bottom in the 20 day i love shorting this stuff i think the banks are gonna absolutely get kicked in the teeth you think the consumers are gonna be taking out loans i'm seeing mortgage brokers getting fired left and right seeing consolidation at banks consistently laying people off yeah it's because they think the economy is going into a bull market <laughs> okay i'm not laughing because it is sad but that's the truth i mean you got to be evidence-based JP Morgan pops a 20 day. Okay, I'm just chopping around. Morgan Stanley, again, one of the you know, laying off. Again, JP Morgan's doing a lot of restructuring. They're going to announce probably a big layoff at some point, uh, from what I'm hearing. Morgan Stanley, yeah, same thing. 20 day, man. Goldman slacks, slacking. Can't even get back up to the highs from February. Slack, slack dog. Oh, what about XBI, Dan, right? Shouldn't bios be doing good? Man, no. Again, so I, I feel like the evidence is so overwhelmingly obvious that I'm like talking to people and they're like, tell me it's time to buy the dip. Well, that the evidence is someone how saying it's time to go long. If you watch these recaps, you're in the Discord room and you say that, it, it, to me it doesn't, it, 
again, if it's temporary, fine. You want to do that. But to me, it doesn't say you're an evidence-based trader. That's all I'm saying. And hence why if people take offense that I either kick them out, and again, it's temporary if it needs to be, or put them on timeout or whatever. Again, I don't know what to tell you. Like I'm trying to teach you the bigger moves. And if you want to day trade and over trade, be my guest, but you're going to miss big moves. Just like I miss big moves when I do that crap. Solar, congratulations if you're short. Remember, first solar earnings are on Tuesday after the close coming up. Mwah, 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 mwah. ENPH, every day I read FinTwit talking about buying the stock and it just looks like dead money. Remember, you don't bottom when everybody loves something. Sedge, if you shorted this up in the 340s, bam. But chop, okay. I mean, it's digesting. Does it look good? I don't know. I mean, that earnings pop is back to where it started. Maybe there's some laggards here trying to buy it. Smart guys. Made men. No, nah, not really. Uh, first solar, if you shorted yesterday, hot damn. Again, watch the trend. When it breaks, maybe it doesn't break until earnings. Just keep that in mind. And so here, I'll talk about this. If you own first solar into earnings, be very careful. If you were short stock, you probably want to buy some calls as hedges. If you got puts, you probably want to do what? Maybe hedge with a call. If I got, again, I hate to say this, and it ends up dumping, but guess what? If just like NVIDIA, it can go higher temporarily and come right back potentially next week or the following week or whatever. That day, I've seen this crap. We don't know. And so when you don't know, you don't gamble, right? So take your profits, manage your profits, and do what you got to do. If it dumps, it dumps. But if it goes higher and you don't take any profits and you turn a win into a loss, that's not how you win in trading. Let's end it with oil and maybe a little rant. Oil, chopping, again, really not much to say. UNG, hey, look at that, it's up. Wee, yeah, 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 the 20 day. Cool, I, again, I... I, I hope people make money on this. I, again, I, I just don't think it's the easiest trade out there, but everybody loves it. Now, again, at a certain point, there will be a natural gas trade, but I think it makes sense when the market's not looking, when you're not looking to short it. Does this make sense? Like, do you, this is steep. This is professional, not, sorry, novice gapish blow off, potentially. But man, this thing could just go into the sideways action, right? Look at this stuff. It popped here February, and then it was just, right? Popped here in February. I, I don't know. I, I don't trust it. But you you do you. XOP, hit our channel, trend line, whatever you want to call it. All right, bounces. I mean, again, I said this yesterday. I thought this, pro, this could be a potential pro grab. This looked better than anything else to buy if you're going to play the game of up. Decent volume today. I... Yeah, we'll see. I mean, again, I, this stuff, I just wouldn't short this. And if you're long it, then you need to be careful. Because this is the this is what worries me about oil and gas is like the leaders. Again, that looks like a blow off novice top going into the monthly trend line. If you don't know, you best to zoom out. I can't. It's so old, this trend line. This thing goes back to when the dinosaurs were crawling, y'all. And we hit it. And we went slightly above it twice. Holding the 100-day. But if ExxonMobil starts rolling over, do you really think XOP is going to be flying? Look at Occidental, the Buffett, the Buffet. This thing, dude, everybody's buying it up here. We're telling you, be careful. He's probably selling cover calls. Doesn't really look that good. PXD, somebody, again, I think they're in a buyout, potentially, of range resources. Man, there's somebody on stock Twits calling me the devil. Foosballs, the devil. They're yelling and screaming every day for saying, be careful. Look at this thing. They must work for an institution that's shorting the stock. Again, you don't see that kind of emotion and fakeness from real traders. I mean, again, keep in mind, there are smart people who hire folks, literally, or create bots to post on message boards to trick people. I'm telling you, if you don't know, you don't know. But this is fun. That person seems like is every day screaming by, and it's just like, literally, you can't be any more wrong. Feel bad if it's a real person. Uh, EQT. Now this popped with Natty Gas. Congrats. Again, I mean, oil and gas looks better. I'm trying to think where like the best level draw it. Yeah, it's probably right there. But looks better in the market. But here's the thing: if the market peels over, will the stuff rise? I don't know. I would just again, when it comes down to what you want to play, geopolitical risk is bad, and it's probably going to go against tech. And if the market goes lower, it's going to go against certain names like tech. And if interest rates go higher, it's going to go against tech. That is so much easier. You're welcome. Try to keep it clean, clear, thought like keep like make it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. We'll send it on flex LNG again. 
you would, I'm surprised this name isn't up today, but just kind of is what it is. We like this at some point. So again, I appreciate all the love, support, the generous donations. Again, five bucks, 50, 5,000, doesn't matter. If, again, if you're learning something and you appreciate the cost of free tuition and you want to chip off a buck or two for your boy, that's fine. But just press, tr pr promise me you're going to run this like a business. Meaning, A, you're going to pay yourself. A, you're going to plan on paying taxes because you're expecting to win. Next, you're going to treat your family, treat your loved ones, treat somebody special with the money you're making. Fourth, put some money away to buy some probably precious metals, inflation hedges, maybe if you can buy a barrel of oil. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, or save some cash for a down payment for an investment property. Cool. And then, if you want to throw me a tip, that's appreciated. But ultimately, have your priorities. Like, your goal is to run this like a business. Not be some emotional gambler like some of these old guys that are following. You know? I mean, they can do this for 40 years. And again, I was, I didn't even realize my own insanity. And I'll end it with a good story. And people want to, you know, we were talking about this in the main room, and it was like, you know, like the why the, you know, you love that meme with that guy who's listening to that music bobbing his head, and he's, uh, you know, he's got the gun to his head. Let me see if I can find it while we're talking. And the reason why, again, I didn't put a gun to my head when I was at my lowest, but it, that's what I felt like. And the reason why I felt like that was because of what? I wasn't learning from my mistakes. I wasn't educated. I wasn't honest with myself. I didn't look in the mirror. And that's what I remember is that day that I looked in the mirror and I go, you can make, you've made seven figures, you've made other people tons of money, yet at sometimes you just can't execute how to trade. What is your problem? Literally. And that stuff, uh, maybe you don't know, and you're, you're like, I'll just post it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that feeling, I'm looking for it on another page, of what it's like. Again, then you haven't come to like the, you haven't gone inside your own self to see who you really are. And when I say that, what that means is, here it is, screw this, I'm out. It just doesn't mean you haven't taken the time to admit, like look deep in the mirror at all of your mistakes and go, you know what? Mm, I'm good. You're never good in trading. Remember this, you are never good in trading. You're only as great and as good as your last trade. And if at any point you take off that mental structure of desire to learn, desire to be better, desire to study the past, try to figure out what's going on, you are walking into a big grenade minefield. You're holding a grenade with a pin out. You don't even see it until it happens. That's the problem. That happened to me way too many times. Luckily, I had a little bit of self-restraint, discipline, pulled money out, did things so I could reload accounts, and also just, hey, you know what? Mistakes happen. But every iteration, you should be getting better. You should be getting better. If you're still 20, 30, 20 months, years, decades doing this stuff, and you have not mastered trading, what are you doing? That's you. That's like me saying, like, hey, I'm going to get in shape and get a six-pack abs. And then 10 years later, I'm still a fat or overweight or high body fat individual. You're lying to yourself. Because you're not doing what you're saying you would do. And if you're following this channel, you know I'm going to hold you accountable. Because again, that's what I do to myself. That's why I literally I do these recaps. Is to be evidence-based. It forces me every day to look at the market for what it is, not what I want it to be. And it helps me. And hopefully it helps you guys. And again, if you don't understand this stuff, and you think that trading is gambling, well, guess what happens to all gamblers? They lose. That 95 percentile... You're going to be a part of it. So hope this helps. Please reach out if you have any questions. Um, I will be probably posting less. I'm going to be taking a break next week. Going to go chase some powder, if you know what that means. A little bit of snowboarding action. I will try to post the best I can. I'll try to get some recaps. But in general, that's why I want to really reiterate the longer term charts. Watch the first and last three business days of the month video. Keep in mind, there's probably some volatility. But however, keep in mind, if the market is starting to slip... Do you think institutions want to own the market going into the end of the month for their statements, for their uh, clients? Uh, 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 uh. Keep in mind, though, March 1st, typically bullish. Well, actually, it's always bullish. I can't even remember. I mean, it says on the, it says on the Secretary's Almanac it's 16 out of the last 23, but I swear to God, like 16 out of the last 16 have all been green. Could be wrong, but that's what it feels like. March 1st, typically bullish, but remember, the last day of the month, Tuesday, if the market's down, people are going to be selling. All right. I hope this helps. I really appreciate everybody. Again, if you hate me, 
love me, whatever, I don't care. Focus on yourself, ultimately. Again, it's going around here trying to, like, I hate to say this, but posting your ego about trades that nobody's following or doing things and telling me and others what you're doing and no one else is watching, that doesn't matter. I am public about everything, so again, yes, I try to make sure I keep people updated. Those folks that are not and you don't have a following, focus on yourself. I'm telling you. That's the best thing you can do. Help yourself. Study more. Study, 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 study. All right, y'all. Have a good weekend. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.